If you're looking to build production ready AI chatbot, this video is for you. There are two types of text based AI agents, aka chatbots, informational and conversational. Here's how it usually looks. We have a widget on the website, usually on the right. If you launch it, it's going to give you the welcome message. Then if we're going to say something like, hey, it's going to ask us for an email. Also press the buttons and it's going to give us some of the options through the carousel with images and the buttons. This is what we call informational chatbot. But the second type of the chatbot is the conversational agent. Conversational agents are a bit different because you are trying to mimic human behavior. Here we'll provide my name, then we're going to provide the phone number and the email. We're going to start the chat and send this form. Once this form is sent, it's going to follow up with us in about about one minute if we don't ask any questions. Also very important to note that it uses a pretty, pretty much informal language. Again, this is not the professional language that we usually use for our customers. Let me now show you how they are all built out. When we're talking about informational bots, usually you would use something like the voice though. If we're talking about conversational bots where you want to mimic human behavior, you need the engine and the interface. These are two separate things. You can see here that we have the Gino that has this entire prompt configured in a way to display messages however we want and talk in the language that we want. We also have the module that split the messages into multiple parts. This is where we are asking another agent to split the messages and then display them separately. Then we need to connect this engine to the interface. The interface is more limited but we don't really care because again, we are not building the interface, we are building the human interactions. And then we are powering this widget by this NADN workflow through the different automations that are built inside the high level. In terms of the use cases, the most common use cases for the informational chatbots is where you want to display information fast and have a better text-based interface for people to navigate throughout the information that you provide. Usually these are the e-comprehense and the real estate where you want to provide information visually. Again, these are just a few examples. The most common use cases for the conversational agents that we build for our clients are the funnel based businesses, financial institutions, info products, as well as clinics and med centers. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.